Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to a very short and sweet travel vlog. So I am going to Gujarat for a day. I'm going there to visit the Statue of Unity for the very first time along with my family. So I thought why not vlog my experience and share all of the details with you all starting from the expenses to what are we doing, where are we going and all of that so that it could be like a good guide for you all too just in case any of you all are planning to visit. So I hope this video is helpful for you all. So today is the 22nd of January and it's just a one day trip so we are leaving tonight at midnight we're going there by train so if you live in Mumbai uh, you have the option of a direct train from Mumbai to Kevadia Kevadia which is the closest station to the Statue of Unity so I just thought that it was very convenient so we booked our uh, third AC compartment tickets um, if you want a cheaper alternative you can book the sleeper class tickets they are much affordable than the third AC ones but since I'm traveling with my grandparents parents and also my cousin i just wanted everyone to be very very comfortable uh, so yeah the train tickets costed us 1600 rupees per person from mumbai to kevadia and kevadia to mumbai back as well so which i think is a pretty great deal and apart from that all of the other details i will keep on sharing with you all as and when we go and uh, yeah then i'll leave and uh, catch you guys tomorrow once i reach there from Gujarat you guys I just reached Kevadia it is so so pleasant here the weather is really nice and right now I'm at the first floor of the Kevadia station where they have a lot of rooms that you could rent out they are called as retiring rooms since we're not going to be staying here for the night we are not uh, going at any hotels because they were very expensive they were not available and all of that we just needed a room where we could like freshen up and get ready because we have our train back to Mumbai tonight so yeah ye wala jo khula hai room wo humne liya hai the room costed us 2600 rupees um, and we are eight people so when we calculate it down it's very very affordable per person which i think is really really a good deal yes, this is a room for a couple of hours as soon as you enter here's the washroom then we have tv unit a little storage and this is the bed wardrobe our luggage and a little bit of seating area and now we're just going to freshen up have some breakfast get ready and then leave for the statue of unity which is i think five to seven kilometers from the kevadia station also by the way you have to book the statue of unity entry tickets prior because the offline counters are shut due to covid so i will leave your website in the description box below in case you want to book it as well so yeah i think that's all the information i have as of now so now let's get ready so guys we all just got ready and came down this is the kevadia station right behind me and Okay, there's a group clicking pictures and videos, whatever. So I love my outfit today. So let me give you deets. So my jacket is from Urbanic. My turtleneck is from Shein. And my nails match my uh, outfit really well. Yes, so my jeggings are from Zara. My shoes are from Mintra. I love these. They are so, so good. And my bag is from Ginger from Lifestyle. I got it yesterday only. Looks very, very cute. And my nails. I'm obsessed with my nails. It just looks so nice. Drashti did a fab job. I will leave her details in the description box below. So make sure you follow her. I, I'm just obsessed. I can't stop staring at them. And uh, also these are the e-rickshaws over here they are so cute like everything here is very very aesthetic uh we are not going to go by this actually we have a bus that's gonna come here in about like 15 minutes or so so the bus is free of cost the rickshaw will charge so that's why of course we're going to be waiting for the bus uh bus tab tak hum log pictures which is thode Yes, this is the bus that we are going to go into this is a free of cost bus if you've taken the statue of unity ka ticket you can board this bus and this station pe aati hai. Unka kuch fixed timings hai. Uh, right now the one which we are taking is the 10 40 am one so yes let's go to the statue of unity now
Guys, we just got off the bus and this is where we start walking towards the Statue of Unity. But I can of course see the statue over here. As you can see, it's gorgeous. Like, it's a bit fog, so it's not clearly seen. But it is so good. And it's so cold. I mean, it's so cold. Because it's so windy. I hope you can hear me as well. the statue of unity and oh my god this is so beautiful the camera is just not doing justice it's so nice and if you want to go you can go via the escalator and under there's a lift so i think ye point that we can go inside the statue which is so cool very cool no kavish nice no yes <laughs> Guys, this is the lift that we have to take to go upstairs. That's my brother. So this is the view from the 45th floor from the Statue of Unity. It is so beautiful. We are right now inside the statue, which is so cool. This is the viewing gallery point where you can come wo lift se if you buy the viewing gallery ticket. And you can actually see what the statue looks from inside. So now we came back to the ground floor from where we took the lift and here there's a lot of uh, information regarding Sardar Vallabhai Patel, uh, all of the history, what all he has done and all of that. So let me give you a glimpse of that. These are some of his old pictures and all the references are written here at the bottom. It's really cool. And the interior over here is so pretty and it's so spacious. So this is how it looks from the front. That's my dad. Can't stop clicking pictures. <laughs> now we are going to see the feet of the statue. We have to go on the escalator. Guys, this is the feet of the statue. It's humongous. Like the camera isn't doing justice. It just looks so small. But it's huge. I can't even see the face of the statue anymore. It's so crazy. But it's so well made. Hi, Saab. It's so cold. The window is so cold. Escalator is on and she is walking. How dumb is that? So guys, we got done with the Statue of Unity and change of outfit, of course. I had to carry an extra outfit to create content. <laughs> Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah. So now we are going to go and grab some lunch because we are like very hungry. You were saying she walks down an escalator, which is on. How embarrassing is that? You are embarrassing. You are embarrassing. Escalator is going down. Shut up. What's the purpose? Come is going. I am. I am not embarrassing. No. No. See. Cousins are also good. Nani is saying she also wants to come in the vlog. Say hi. Hi. So guys, we just got done with our lunch. We had our lunch over here. This is a food court right uh, beside Statue of Unity. I just couldn't vlog at that point of time because I was so hungry. I just hogged everything. So now the plan is that we are going to go and see the cactus garden. Uh, so the thing is, there are a lot of different type of tourist attractions around the Statue of Unity. Just liye, you will have to book uh, prior tickets. So we did book our cactus garden and Unity Glow Garden beforehand on the same website as we booked the statue of unity tickets and um, there are different activities like river rafting and riverfront cycling and jungle safari and all of that as well uh, but uh, if you are here for two days you can definitely cover everything but since we are here just for like one day we just did like uh, what we really wanted to see and if we time bacha to we will probably see something else as well so yeah for now the next stop is cactus garden just cut ticket costed us 60 rupees per person which is really really cheap uh, how will we go there that i'm not sure about so we'll figure that out and i will keep you guys posted 
हाथ दुख रहा है भाई कम बैक टू द बस स्टेशन एंड वी आर गोइंग देर बाय बस ओनली द बस इज गोइंग टू चार्ज ऑस रुपीज फिफ्टी पर पर्सन वन वे सो दैट्स गोइंग टू कम अराउंड हंड्रेड रुपीज सो या नेक्स्ट स्टॉप इज कैक्टिस गार्डन लेट्स गो गाइज आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग बस राइड एंड अ गुड नैप वी हैव रीच कैक्टिस गार्डन एज यू कैन सी इट्स सच अ ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस एंड दे हैव लाइक फोर फिफ्टी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कैक्टिस ओवर यर सो एम वेरी एक्साइटेड so huge and i haven't seen so many varieties of cactus in my life ever guys uh, our next stop is jungle safari we've come here uh, wapas bus se hi after the cactus garden and uh, iski ticket humne yahi se counter se le li thi this wasn't planned but we were like let's do it and it costed us 200 rupees per person which i think is a little expensive because uh, it's not safari exactly chal ke karna hai pura and the animals are caged as you can see but it's okay we uh, have already seen the tiger and lion so that's nice uh, there is a bus stop over there but bus ka 1 ghante ka waiting hai so we're not going to wait for that just got done with the jungle safari we saw a couple of animals they were really really nice but, but i wouldn't recommend coming here because i think it's like really tiring and aage to hai bhi nahi like we couldn't find a kangaroo we couldn't find a zebra so i just wouldn't recommend this uh, now our next stop is going to be unity glow garden for which we've already paid we bought tickets online only uske liye pehle se that costed us 100 rupees per person uh, so we're just waiting for the sunset because uh, wahan pe bahut sare lighting setups and wo sab hai so that would look really good when the sun sets but yeah jungle safari was i would say like a 5 on 10 experience for me do not judge my fashion skills i just wore my jacket subah wala on the stop only because it's getting really cold it's almost 6 now time for sunset and we are at unity glow garden sorry that was a really bad angle to show it to you all this is the unity glow garden it has these pretty light installations all over and it's just so beautiful camera mein thoda bright ho raha hai zyada but it is not that bright it is dark so mere samne to light ka effect kafi acha aa raha hai love this background it just looks so nice this tree even matches me so that is really cute got done with the laser show and all of the exploring part near statue of unity now we are off to our last destination for the day before we board our train for mumbai which is the narmada river front so we are going there to see the aarti that happens every day evening mein and bahut hi achhi hoti hai aisa sabne wahan pe bola so we were like why not go but oh my god it's so cold like i'm wearing this top with this denim jacket and it's not helping like at all but can't really do anything so yeah let's go to the aarti and then head home is that we are done for the day i'm back at the station going to my room to just collect the luggage still in my funny clothes i will change my top but board the train soon so i'm going to end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful and if you did then please don't forget to oh my god i'm so breathless like share and subscribe to our channel for more such videos and also to click on the bell icon to get notified every time we put up a new video we shall see you all soon bye